Okay, here's a quick video to show you how to send a link of a website to a student um, so they can click on it and it will take them to maybe a specific page on a website or a resource that you think will be really useful. So first of all, I need a website. So I have got a very quick link to a computer science one. Uh, all you need to do is copy and paste the link at the top. So I'm just going to copy that uh, and I'm going to go back into here. Now there's a few ways that you can do this. If you click on create, you can either do it as a material or an assignment. If you're confused about those two, you need to go and watch um, the last video uh, about how to add a resource onto Google Classroom. So I'm just going to add it as a material for now. So if I click on my add button here, I can put a link. I paste my link into here and click add link. It will just give me a link to the website. So I'm going to put website link. Again, this automatically sets. So I'm not going to change this apart from I'm going to put it in that networking tab and I'm just going to post it. Take a couple of seconds again. There it is. There's my website link. Um, and if you click on the website link, you'll see you can see a little thumbnail of the website. Click on that again, and it will open it for the students. Takes them directly to a page. You could put a website link into a Google Power, into a PowerPoint, or something like that. It's just a way of having a website link to a certain website. It might be you have revision materials or revision resources. Uh, or LinkedIn and it's a nice little way of doing it. You could do it as an assignment if you wanted to, if there was a quiz online that you wanted students to do, you could put that into an assignment instead, uh, something that they've got to have completed by a certain date, but then again, uh, unless it gives you feedback by using something like Seneca or using GCSE Pod, it's not going to work in that way. This is just a nice little way of adding a website link.